timing is certainly suspect. Like you said, you have a celebrated author who's a known, outspoken, voluble critic of the Modi government's record on human rights, who could now face prosecution, who could now face legal action in connection with statements she made on Kashmir at a conference uh, over a decade ago. Now, the government is able to act uh, on these statements made 14 years ago because of a stringent anti-terror law that we have in India called the UAPA. Now, this is a controversial law because it allows for suspected terrorists to be picked up, to be arrested, to be put behind bars preemptively, without bail, for years even, until the charges are filed, so that you can be arrested in a case where you don't know what the charges are against you because no charges uh, are needed to be filed before you can be arrested. Now, uh, the UAPA also doesn't have any statute of limitations, which is why legal action could take place against Arundhati Roy, uh, even though these alleged uh, offences took place or were made 14 years ago. Now, lawyers have pointed out the contradiction here, that you have the Delhi police investigating a case for 14 years where there has been no violence that has broken out on the streets of Delhi, for example, where these statements were made. So they say you cannot deem a statement to be an unlawful activity if there's been no violence that has broken out in connection to it. And if you do so then that would be a disproportionate response uh, really aimed at quietening or silencing Arundhati Roy's voice.